What's going on guys, Cam here. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing laser nozzle upgrades for this specific style autofocus head. Now, this autofocus is integrated into the entire laser head and Ohmtech offers this, this style in three of their models. That is in their AF 2028-60, their AF 2028-80, which is what I have, and their AF 2435-80. Previously, we used to be able to take American Photonics laser nozzles and just slide it up into the collar of the laser tube. But since they integrated the autofocus, this portion right here is threaded on the inside and there's no collar. So this is not, uh, this is not a collar that tightens down on the actual tube. So in order to do that, and to fix that issue, American Photonics created this collar, this adapter, that screws into this portion of the laser head, and it has a collar that will accept a 16 millimeter diameter tube. 16 millimeter diameter tube. So most of Ohmtech's laser, laser tubes accept, accept a 16.15 millimeter, with the exception of the bigger lasers, these specific laser heads with the integrated autofocus will be 16 millimeters in diameter with the adapter. So let me show you how it works. We're gonna simply disconnect the airline by pushing down on the push to connect and simultaneously pull up on the airline. We're gonna pinch the blue collar right here and we're gonna do a lefty loosey on this red portion. This red portion spins freely in a 360 uh, degree manner. So I can just simply do a lefty loosey here. We'll put that off to the side. Now I am going to grab the collar here and I'm gonna pinch it. I'm gonna pinch and hold it because now I'm gonna take this red portion and I'm gonna do righty tighty to tighten it. Make sure that's nice and snug. I'm gonna take the laser nozzle, again, 16 millimeters in diameter, right here on the outer portion. Stick it up into the collar. I'm gonna tighten the collar right here, and I'm gonna push up on the laser nozzle just to make sure I get it all the way up there. So I'm gonna get it over here, and then just tighten that collar nice and tight. Put the airline back in and you're all set. Now, one thing with the American Photonics lens is that they have different kits, right? Different kits that offer different focal lengths or different nozzles that offer different focal lengths. So I have a two inch focal length in here, but what they do is they compensate for the depth of field by making a longer laser nozzle. So for example, this is the four inch focal length lens with the four inch uh, laser nozzle to accommodate for the longer depth of field. Now, with that being said, their focal distance is gonna be 10 millimeters every time. So that's the tip of their laser to the top of the workpiece is gonna be 10 millimeters. That's the thickness of a AAA battery. So what we have to do now is we have to change our settings in light burn to accommodate that 10 millimeter focal distance. So we wanna ensure that our laser is communicating with light burn. It should say ready right here. And then we're gonna to wanna to go over to our toolbar and select edit, scroll down to machine settings. And we're gonna wait for our settings to populate here. Scroll down to where it says miscellaneous and then directly underneath that is focal distance. Now we're gonna to wanna to type in 10, cause that's gonna be what American Photonics sets as their focal distance. So we'll type in 10 here and then just click out of the box. And then we're gonna hit right. After you hit right, you'll notice that it says controller settings written successfully and then just select okay to exit out of the menu. 
And then we're gonna go back to our controller and we're gonna hit reset to allow our laser to rehome and accept the new settings. So now that we've changed the settings in Lightburn, we can simply go to our menu. For me, it's the ZU button. And I'm gonna hit the directional key down until I see autofocus. And then once I press enter, it's gonna start the autofocus process. So we're gonna hit enter in three, two, one. You can see the Z-axis comes up, watch the plunger. That distance should be 10 millimeters. We can check with the thickness of a AAA battery, and it is nice and snug right there. So we are focused, and we are all set to use our laser. So now I've showed you how to install the upgraded laser nozzle. I showed you how to establish your focal distance and set it up in Lightburn. And I just want to reiterate that the diameter for this specific nozzle needs to be 16 millimeters in diameter. And it's only for the three Ohmtec models with this integrated autofocus. Again, that's the AF2028-60-80 and the AF2435-80, right? So if you're interested in upgrading to this laser nozzle, uh, just remember we do have an affiliate discount and that code is LaserGuys. Guys.